What's up everybody? How is it growing? Welcome to my hobby grow. Thanks for watching. I really appreciate it. Hope you're having a great new year so far. I have been battling root rot over the last couple days and thought I'm going to put a video together and let you know kind of where I'm at with this and what my plan is going forward to battle this Pythium pathogen that has taken over my roots and my plants. We're going to look into that and more. So keep on watching. What's up everybody welcome back I really appreciate you for hanging out and seeing what I have to talk about today and just as a reminder if you have not done so yet make sure you hit that subscribe button stay updated on what's going on around here and if you have any questions or comments make sure to leave them below I do try to get them all answered so as I talked about kind of in the intro there I am dealing with root rot we're looking at the 8x4 tent here. This is the four spot system as I call it. Uh, so you can see here, I've got four plants growing, none of which are looking too well at this point. If we zoom in on this one right here, you can see here that she is just uh, pretty wilted looking, not looking too well. Uh, definitely not uptaking the nutrients like she needs to. In just a minute here we will go ahead and check out the roots of the plants themselves um, but I just kind of wanted to talk about some of the problems that I've had what I'm gonna do to fix the problem and kind of where I'm at and where I'm gonna go from here so just kind of as a quick backstory um, back in the beginning of December I took in a clone from outside of my grow and found out after I took that clone in that it had root aphids. Now, my fault, I didn't do what I was supposed to do by keeping it separate or anything like that. Um, I brought that clone home, I rinsed off all the media from it, and I dropped it into this four spot system right here. Three weeks later, I'm looking through the plants and I noticed that I had root aphids on one of the plants. So with that in mind, I went through, pulled all the plants out of this system right here and flushed it, cleaned it, all that really good. Got rid of any of the problems with the bugs and got that taken care of. I also at that time had six clones going as backups, just kind of to get ready for the next cycle. So that is what we're looking at here. There's those four right there. And then these two right here with that one being the competition clone. What I did was when I pulled the plants from the other tote that they were in, I took them over to the sink and I rinsed off the roots. That was my first problem right there. I did it to five of them. Which one didn't I do it to? That one right there. And look how well it looks compared to the rest of them. So I did some research and what I found out was that young plants, the roots, develop a biofilm. And what this biofilm does is it helps protect the root system against pathogens and other harmful fungi, bacteria, stuff like that. Now, I do use beneficial bacteria. I had inoculated the system with beneficial bacteria. They were growing from the beginning as clones and beneficial bacteria. But I'm pretty sure what I did by rinsing off the roots was I just kind of destroyed anything they had going on. I put them into this new system and root rot took over. Now, that's not the only problem I have. There's another issue that I need to fix and address too. So let's go check that. So what you're looking at right there is my airline running into the actual tote itself. Yeah, we're gonna get to these roots in a second. So it comes in over there and it's a clear air line. So what's happening is light is allowed to enter there. Um, right, right here, there's another hole. And on the other side of the toad on each side, there's holes too. So that is allowing light to get into the system, which is probably also contributing to the root rot factor. Other thing that I've done is I went through and I topped off hydrogen around each of them to try and prevent light from leaking in around the top of the neck cups too. So that's kind of where I'm at with that right now. 
those are the fixes that I'm gonna do for the next round. And hopefully that takes care of the problem itself. Why don't we get in here and let me show you what these roots are looking like. Now, before I open this up, I do wanna let you know that I'm not proud of what I'm about to show you at all. These roots are just, yeah. I did treat them with a beneficial bacteria. Um, it was a tea that I brewed. And I just think at this point in time, it's not worth trying to save what's going on. I'm gonna drop some new seeds. I have the clones in the fridge. These ones right here that I've been keeping in the fridge. We're gonna go ahead and pull those and try to root those along with some other beans that I have going. But then this one right here, this plant, this is the one that I didn't do anything to the roots. I literally pulled it from the old system, dropped it into its new bucket. Now, yeah, they don't look too good there, but you can see I got some new roots that are forming and in general, those look okay. That's where I came up with the deduction that rinsing the roots like I did caused the problem. The other thing is if you've been following along on Instagram, I had a plant that was right here the last round that after I went through and did a flush, it just wilted and died. Well, I also rinsed all the roots off through that whole system at that point, and I think that caused an issue too. So, sorry this video is a little bit longer than normal. I uh, did really want to try and keep it a little bit shorter, but just wanted to kind of get in here and tell you what was going on and what I'm experiencing and what I'm going to do to try and fix it. This is really sad because this is the competition clone. And yeah, I don't know if it's going to be savable. I am going to try and take a couple cuts from it and see if that'll save it. But right now I just don't know. I did pick up this humidifier right here. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. It, automatically shuts off when the humidity is reached that you need it to. So that's where we're at. This is what's going on in the four spot. Take a trip over here and I'll show you the Tropic Lightning, what's going on over in the eight spot. appreciate you watching thanks again make sure you hit that subscribe button follow along stay updated on what's growing on around here and find out what happens with this 8x4 tent we got going I can't say that plant right there she's not going anywhere we're gonna keep her around till next time really appreciate it peace